Bitcoin has finally broken out of its lower term time frame range. With this move to the upside, I will be now telling you exactly what to be looking for next. I'm going to be breaking down this Bitcoin chart in such a way it is going to be very simple and easy for you to understand. Just giving you the core need to know information so you can profit on these trades to come. Of course, we've actually got the monthly close coming up in a few days and the start of June. June for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency as a whole is a very very volatile and historically a good month for crypto. So uh, yeah, let's see if that trend continues as I'm gonna start the video here and telling you what to be re ready and waiting for. So yeah, I'm really happy with this chart right now. So in the last video that I made, we we're obviously trading while we were still within this mini local term time frame range, right? Where we had the resistance around 27,500. Okay, and our support that was coming in down around 26k. Since then, we got a breakout of the top of this range. Okay, after trading up at a range around here, which I'll explain now, we've obviously got a slight pullback. The level that we've rejected from here was given to you. Okay, and really simply, it is taking that Fibonacci from the high down to the low. We came up into that CC. And again, whether you take it from this side or this side, we come up into that CC Fibonacci. Okay. And on top of that, we obviously saw this type of swing failure pattern type move failed auction where we come up and we took out this high and closed back down below. OK, that is really simply a short trade entry. OK, when you're trading the charts and ready for whether you ready and waiting for these type of moves. And if you are not ready or waiting for these type of moves, I just want to give one massive, massive shout out to the to the legend himself. One word, Eeyore. This guy absolutely called all of this move, traded this move and absolutely killed it. OK, back over 10 days ago now, uh, he gave his daily morning live stream update and laid out the whole plan. This was the line he drew in today's morning update and look at that from that line that he drew each step of the way timing the highs oh, down there at the lows just real real nice getting that higher low missing the stop and then coming up where to his bell <laughs> to his alerts and from that alert coming off yeah you guessed it pretty much shortened the absolute high of that one uh so yeah from longing the low to shorting the high ladies and gentlemen one word eagle that's the guy right now. That is the legend. And uh, yeah, that is a call and a half that I just have to give some massive appreciation to. That was that was an insane call, my friend. Well done. Uh, <laughs> so obviously, yeah, what a move. Truly, truly, truly. He obviously got that right. And we've come up to the important pivot that he had. And it was just above this high into the CC. And from here, uh, yeah, I, I also agree. This is an acceptable short trade, right? And also the way that you're then managing this is really simply that stop loss now can be sat at entry or still above that high. OK, and what you'd be looking for is one of two things. And this is where I'm going to simplify this chart. Very, very easy to understand. OK, we've currently got this downtrend channel. OK, so this is our parallel channel connecting our two pivot highs to the pivot low. We can see after having these three pivots, we come down tap. The low, very nice indeed. Middle of the channel, middle of the channel, higher low breakup, right? Following Eagle's magic line. <laughs> and from this breakup, we've obviously come to swing fair pattern this high into the CC. Okay, so now we'll be looking for, you know, real two scenarios that I'm going to explain to you in this uh, YouTube video. <clears throat> Number one is that this pivot high holds. We get acceptance back into the previous range. Okay, as long as we see the acceptance back below here, and really simply, we remain within this parallel channel. There's no real reason why we cannot just keep on rotating from high to low, from high to low, from high back down to the low. OK, there's no reason we cannot be seeing that. That would be the more bearish scenario, right? Where we don't hold a higher low because we do, by the way, have very good support off this middle of the channel, right? We've seen it hold a support, resistance, support, resistance, resistance, resistance. So obviously be aware the support flip off of the middle of the channel. But this is our channel that's very simple to understand. And that would be the more bearish scenario that we get a pullback off of the CC on that swing failure pattern, right? The more bullish scenario is, could pull back first, of course, but the more bullish scenario is that we break out of this parallel channel. We get the breakout of this parallel channel. Okay, some people might refer to this as a bump and run type pattern potentially. Okay, trend line high bottoming pattern, breakout. And if we break out of this channel, 
again, there are some levels to be aware of. The bigger, higher term time frame CC around there at $29,000, not one to forget. But if we break out of this channel, then we have a real good probability of running up to $30,000 plus. Okay, this would be our more medium term time frame channel breakout. Okay, showing that sign of strength. Okay, what we'll be looking for. We really want to keep our eye on the volume. Okay, up on this break, we would like to see the volume increase. Okay, so I recommend checking this on the order flow. Then you can also look at the delta. You can also look at the open interest. Also look at the trade counts and the HL candles. Okay, so I would look at that on Atus or Exo charts. But to keep this very simple, <laughs> uh, in this video we can really simply just look at volume. Okay, on trading view and so what we would like to see is these volume candles are obviously declining and declining and declining right now so if we are to see a breakout here then we would like to see this also followed with a big volume candle here in green okay that would be the most bullish scenario so there's a few things to be aware of because you know lower volume in increase is considered bearish so we would like to see the volume back this up, okay? And to do that, we can check it on trading view. But I would recommend Atis or Exo charts to be, uh, you know, just get a better view than just a volume candle on its own. But nevertheless, that's what I'd be looking at. This is what I call a simple, easy to understand update. I want to tell you one final thing before we end here, and that is we've added in another new live stream. Of course, last week we added in a new weekly altcoin live stream. You now have a dedicated altcoin live stream every week. And today we've added in another new live stream, and that is a dedicated stock market daily update. So every single day you're going to be updated on Bitcoin. You're going to be updated on the stock market. You've got weekly live trading streams you got weekly ama streams of rivalry you got weekly altcoin streams with severin it's just the whole team coming together we're building each other up and we're just putting in our absolute best to give you the absolute oh just the best service and way to learn trading in the space we want to be the best we're really happy with the comments and feedback and you know we're just hungry to keep on working keep on giving you more and more and more and yeah that's what we're doing right now feels good and yeah if you want to get involved again we got an already had two live stream daily updates this morning and you've got another live stream coming today for the third of the day that will be the live trading stream in this live trading stream of course you can then see these reactions okay the trade entries reasons for the entry reasons for the stop loss reasons for the target all of those details explained live in the time as the trades are taken in the live trading stream today third of the day if you want to get involved on all of this content well, you know where to head over to chartchampions.com, the place to be right now if you really are serious about learning to trade and following along with the best in the space. So yeah, shout out to <laughs> one of the best here, Igor, absolutely legendary call, trading the lows, trading the highs, longing the low and yeah, taking the short for that high. From here, it requires a bit of patience. Let's see if that is invalidated and we start to break out here. And then we look for a very large move to the upside based off of the volume want to remind you of the volume so we don't get the fake out scenario or if we hold this pivot or we you know potentially swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern and back down <laughs> there's always one i'm aware of um you know then we'll be looking for come back down and test the middle of this channel hope you've understood i've tried to keep it as simple and easy as possible if you want it more complex well if you're not even necessarily more complex but if you want more detail more pacific bias and trades well that's it once again chartchampions.com gonna wrap it up there i'm gonna say thank you ever so much hope you've enjoyed and i'll catch you over in chart champions discord or website cheers everybody thank you and that's me signing out goodbye